Okay, we've got a filter sweeping dirt lead from hell so far, but it's still missing a few things at its core to really push it over the edge. Well, this usually means it's time for some effects, and nothing makes things nastier than distortion. In the mix view, I'll enable the distortion and leave it on the first setting, tube. This setting emulates the sound of tube saturation with a mix of even and odd harmonics. And as I was playing around on my own, it sounded the best. I'll set the amount to 51%. Then adjust the tone to 65. Which will keep the lead nice and bright. Let's take a listen. With the distortion, it already sounds much, much bigger and brighter. But it still needs something to make it pop. Well, how about the chorus? I'll enable the chorus, then I'll increase the depth to 48%, which will give it a decent amount of audible modulation without making it chop and flutter. A faster rate is nice for leads because with quick, subtle detuning, it makes the lead seem fatter. Finally, I'll increase the feedback to 52%. Normally, I'm not a fan of a lot of feedback with flanges and choruses, but listen. Notice how it now sounds like it's a lot smoother and brighter. almost like it's in a cloud. Very cool. All right, effects are taken care of and the lead sounds like it could really add some life into most any song you add it into, but it still needs some tweakability. In the next tutorial, let's take a look at some of the macro options that Isotope recommends.